going to go pick up this baby squirrel. The mother was killed by a cat. Hey, Mary, how are you? Okay, pretty good. So what you got? This squirrel fell out of a tree. He was moving a little bit, but he didn't have that quick, squirrely motion. Okay. So. You haven't noticed any injuries? I haven't noticed any injuries. The mom was lying dead in his yard, so I'm not sure how long he was in there. Looks like a fox squirrel. Yeah. Where he has no idea what's going on. Look at him. And he's not far from opening his eyes. Yes, yeah, should be any time. OK, I'll get him to a rehab facility and, and ultimately get him released in a while. That'd be the best thing for him. Great. Awesome. There you go, little guy. A big part of what we do is the conservation of natural resources, and that includes uh, all the animals and little critters in Texas. It's unfortunate that we had to intervene. We, we don't like to intervene with these baby animals when we don't have to. But in a case like this, when the mother's been killed uh, and there's no hope for a chance of survival of, for him in the wild, um, we need to step in. Why don't we go in that room okay. right now? Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so is he biting? No, he still has his eyes closed. Hi, Angel. He's beautiful, isn't he? Yeah, this guy fell out of a tree, so I don't know if he sustained any injuries. I'm gonna get you to kind of hold him because sure. he feels more comfortable, and I'll see about listening to his heart. Okay. Now, how many days has she had him? Just uh, yesterday. Hi, baby. Stethoscope is bigger than him. Fun thing about heart rate is the smaller the animal, the faster the heart. Oh, yeah. His is really going. He looks fantastic. I don't see any cuts on him or anything. And he just peed on you. Yep, he sure did. And that's good. That means he's getting enough food and water. <laughs> Let's put him back over here. And then you can wash up, and I'll clean his top. So what do you think his chances are of survival? I think it's awesome. I mean, they do really, really well. I'm happy with what we've been able to determine with them so far. They're going to raise it as naturally as possible so that they can ultimately be released uh, back into the wild. Hello? Hey, man, what's going on? Oh, not much. My sheriff called me. He's got a little stock on. He's got a four to six foot gator in there. He's asking me if we can come out there and catch him. OK. Move him. I'm, I'm close. I'll come over there and give you a hand with it. OK, yeah. that sounds good. OK, bye. Jake Knoxon, he's a game warden in Liberty County. They've got a gator in a farm pond. They don't want him in there, so we consider him a nuisance. You got to be cautious any time you handle any alligator. But on this, this particular case, we're going to try to remove him alive and relocating into the Trinity River or one of the local marshes. Not a very big pond. That's going to make it easier on us. We got a little, little road jam here. Just a little road jam. Get out. I got to get rigged up with the hook and line. Get some of these cows out of here to help us. This gator poses a little threat to the landowner's pond. He's got ducks and geese that live on the pond. He's got other livestock on the ranch as far as cattle and, you know, baby calves. And it's a threat to all the livestock he's got. If topwater bait doesn't work, we'll have to get the snag hook out. He's not hungry. Might get snagged. Usually on the smaller gators like this, they show a lot of aggression to a topwater bait. In this case, he's not being that aggressive. He's not following the bait. Good thing about alligators is they got very thick skin. I'm going to change to a snag hook, and I'm going to try to throw it over his back and at least get a hook in him so we can remove him safely. As long as he stays up on top of the water where we can see him, once he gets under, it might be more difficult to Try to catch him. Yeah, I think he's under that dock right now. May have to put the 
hip waders on and go out there and get on top of that dock. Did he go under? He got to be. He's right up next to it. He's hiding from us, I think. We may have to get on top of that dock, make some noise to get him out from under it. Walk around there and see if he's in the, at the front of that dock. There's like around that way. He may be on the bottom. They can hold, hold their breath for a good while. I hope he comes up. Not but about two feet by that dock. Yeah, but how, th how sturdy do you think that dock is? Well, you just had to test it out. I'm not real sure. <laughs> Better you than me. Yeah, I guess. If you play like a, a gymnast, you can probably walk straight down that two by four. Yeah. I think he's probably hovering under that dock, makes a noise on that pier, you know, probably flush him out of there. Us being present here, that's gonna make him a little bit leery, but normally he wouldn't he wouldn't stay down this long if he's right down in the water. Here, take this pole and you can kind of tap around on that dock. Use it as a crutch too, huh? It's hard. You might be able to walk all the way out there, I don't know. Watch them nails. Hey, there he is. You flushed him. See where his air bubbles went to? Right there. He's down again. He's a little leery. Just keep tapping on it. Come on, you need some air. Well, he got a set of lungs on him. Yep. Hold tight. Hold tight, don't move. Heck yeah. We can probably take him up on this bank right here, Jake. He gonna play for a little while though. He don't really know he's caught yet. Let's see if I can get him to pull him straight to you. He's still got a little fight in him. Yeah. He's starting to wear me out, though. Got him now. Heck yeah. Watch those, you gotta watch those hooks. No, oh, shut up. Hey, go ahead and take the pull off of him. I got his mouth as you'll get them hooks out of him. You caught, baby. I got him go here. That'll work. Good to go. And do his legs? Yeah. Just these back two. This size, they can get up on those wheel wells. They'll jump out. Time for a new home. <laughs> 